Hello students, today we are going to discuss about the special word that is timbering in French. So, uh, so many times we have seen that uh, uh, we have to do the excavation work for the construction, either for the foundation or for laying the uh, water pipeline or sewer pipeline. So, in that case, we have to do the excavation work. So, uh, some support is to be provided so that uh, the side walls that should not collapse and it should not harm to the people who are working in the trench. So, for that, some special work which is called as timbering in trench is essential. So we will discuss regarding that. So first thing, what is the meaning of excavation? Excavation Gujarati so It is nothing but it's a man-made cut on the cavity or the trench. Trench is khadu or the depression which is formed by earth removal. Earth which are removed, that is generally termed as excavation. So when we are talking about trench, it is a narrow excavation. Its depth is greater than the width, but that width should not be more than 15 feet, then it is called as trench. So generally for the ordinary excavation whose depth is less, no support is required. So there is no need to go for any support in the sites. And also the water level is not that much high. So uh, in that case, uh, there is no need to go for any support, which is called as the timbering. There is no need to go for the timbering one. But when we are dealing with the deep excavation, as per this Tarzagi, in fact, he has defined that deep excavation is nothing but the excavation which exceeds the depth of 6 to 7 meter. So in that case, what will happen? The side walls, uh, that sides which are formed due to excavation, that are chances that they may collapse. Either it may be due to excessive depth or either it may be due to uh, some ground water which is coming from the sides or from the bottom. So it is necessary to support this side of the trench to prevent the collapse of the side of trench. So when the water is met with, as I have told you, that some water is coming from the sides or from the water that ooze out. Ooze out means slowly it is coming in your site to be excavated. So in that case, this timbering as well as dewatering is very essential requirement. Before going to all the methods, we will uh, first know what is the meaning of timbering of trench. So it is required when the depth of trench is larger and when the subsoil is loose, and the sides of the trench may cave in, matlab, under bussi padhe, due to that's that. So when the soft soil are there and depth of excavation is more than 1.5 meter, then it is safe to provide the light support to prevent the falling of the trench side. Side padhe na jai, tamara khada ma, enna maate tamara support provide kare jai. So generally the support ke liye, normally we are using planks or boards or struts. So this we will learn in detail which are this, uh, planks, strut, etc. So this timbering of trench, it is also sometimes called as the shoring. Shoring is nothing but it's also a temporary support, which is consisting of providing temporary arrangement of timber planks or the boards and struts to give the temporary support to the sides of the trench. Trench ni just sides chene temporarily support karwana method na timbering of trench kevar. So generally for the loose soil, it is very essential that it should be properly shored and timber is to be provided on both the sides with the help of various methods. So before methods, we will learn some terms which are used in timbering. Now, if you want to support your sides of the trench, then first is sheeting. So sheeting here in this figure, you can see it is the sheeting. So it is consisting of the vertical sheets joined together. It is called as sheets. So they are nothing but these are the main plank which remains in contact with the trench. Khadani sides, so they, this will be the first one to be in the contact. So these are uh, the vertical members of timbering which directly resist the pressure from the sides of the trench because here it will exactly, so in this figure you can see these are the sides of the trench. So first member that is to be uh, constructed or that is to be provided, it is the sheeting. So it will directly take the pressure from the sides. Now next is uh, ranger or wells. So here along with the sheets you can see this horizontal members just going along with this sheet that are nothing but these are the pieces of timber which transfer the load from sheeting to the strut. So next is strut. So this uh, along with the sheeting whatever members are provided so here it is called as wells. Third is strut. So piece of the timber it is also piece of the timber which is provided uh, perpendicular to the uh, this uh, wells part and which is fixed between the uh, sheeting or the between the 
wells. So either between the sheeting you can provide it, or either between the two wells you can provide this. And dressing, dressing are nothing but these are the diagonal pieces. So when uh, diagonal here in this figure you can say this is the diagonal pieces of the timber used to give rigidity to your framework. So if depth is excessive, in that case diagonal supports are also to be provided. So that are called braces. So there are uh, different methods for the timbering of trench, stay bracing, box sheeting, vertical sheeting, runners and sheet piling. So we'll discuss one by one. So first is stray bracing. So stray bracing is, uh, is the method used for the supporting the sides of the trench, which is having the firm soil. So it's hard soil, comparatively hard soil. And the depth of excavation is more, not more than two meters. Two meters is not enough, but uh, depth of excavation of firm soil available here to stay bracing up or something. So in that case, uh, you can see this is consisting of the uh, vertical polling boards. Nothing but it is called as the vertical sheets that are generally provided at certain interval three to four meter depending upon the requirement and it will extend up to the depth of the excavation the size of the board polling board or the vertical sheet it may be 200 mm with 40 to 50 mm thickness so this is the size of the board then struts so now here you can see as the depth is less wells are not provided as an extra support but directly perpendicular to this uh, vertical sheet the struts are provided so struts its size is also depending upon the width width of the excavation so width of the excavation is up to 2 meter then the size may be 100 mm by 100 mm and if it is greater than 2 meter width then the size may be increased to 100 mm by 200 mm of the strut so perpendicular to this vertical sheet directly strut is provided next is box sheeting so generally it is used to prevent the slip of the earth in the foundation trench collapse na thai jai tena mate so generally if uh, it is having loose soil and the depth of the excavation does not exceed 4 meter in that case generally a box type of structure is provided and dressing may also be provided if it is required between the struts so dressing are nothing but the diagonal support so there are two types of box settings available one is vertical box setting and second is horizontal box setting so here in this figure you can see the vertical setting so only difference is that so here i will show you in this figure this is the figure of vertical sheeting and this is the horizontal sheeting. So in the vertical sheeting, it is consisting of vertical polling boards or vertical sheets joined together or either provided at certain interval. And along with that, we are having these wells and perpendicular to that, struts are provided. So box-like structure is formed by providing vertical sheets near <laughs> to each other and two rows of wells. So here you can see one row of well, this is first row and this is second row perpendicular to that struts are provided and that is keeping uh, in position with the sides of the slope uh, that particular sides ne next is horizontal box sheeting so here the position of this sheeting it is in horizontal direction here it was in vertical direction and wells are horizontal while here the sheeting is in horizontal direction and wells that are provided in vertical direction and then perpendicular to that the struts are provided and also presses can be provided for the greater depth. So only difference is that here in vertical sheeting, this main vertical sheets are provided and horizontal wells, while here horizontal sheet and vertical wells supported by struts and cross presses. Next is vertical sheeting. So here this method is similar to vertical sheeting that we have just right now discussed for the box sheeting, but it is adopted for the deep trenches up to 10 meter depth in soft ground. So this is similar method as I've discussed, but excavation is carried out in stage-wise manner. So at each stage, offset is provided. So here you can see the members are saying vertical sheeting a certain interval. Along with that, wells are provided, perpendicular to that, struts are provided. But after certain depth, so that is around 3 meter, you have to provide the offset. Means initially 5 meter here. So if you are providing 20, uh, 50 centimeter offset on both the sides, means one meter width will be reduced. So here, if it is initially five meter, then this offset of 50 centimeter here, offset of 50 centimeter here. So one meter and so width is reduced, that is four meter. So similarly, after giving the offset, you have to continue with the, uh, again, vertical shifting and wells and strut. Also, you can provide platform on this strut as per the requirements. So at each stage is limited up to 3 meter. After 3 meter, you can provide this offset. This offset may be 25 to 
50 centimeter and suitable platform as i told you that can be provided on the strut and this arrangement is suitable for laying the sewer pipeline as well as water pipeline at a considerable depth next is runner so runner here uh, you can just see in the picture it, it is also looking like the vertical sheet only but it is called as runner so what is runner so runners are nothing but long thick wooden sheet a lumpy wooden ki sheet hoti hai aur plank hota hai that are provided with the iron shoes at the bottom so here at the bottom iron shoe is provided and along with that again wells and perpendicular to their strut so similar system is that but instead of vertical sheet a certain interval or joint together it's a continuous sheet in the form of wooden planks and it is provided with the iron shoe at the bottom so for extremely loose and soft soil it required the immediate support as the excavation progresses jaise jaise excavation aage chalta jata hai aapko support provide karna zaruri hai if it is a soft or very extremely loose soil so wahan pe hum runner system provide kar sakte hain so it is also similar to vertical sheeting except that in place of vertical sheeting runners are provided so runners already i have told you it's a continuous sheet with the iron shoe so this runners that are generally driven on in the ground uh, in the 30 cm in the soil and uh, uh, in the advancement of the process of the work by hammering dheere dheere usko dala jata hai andar okay as the work progresses and soil is to be excavated next is sheet piling so this is nothing but it is a kind of non load bearing pile so that is a sheet piles so if area to be excavated is large and the depth is greater than 10 meter and generally for the loose or soft soil or the subsoil water is present in all this condition the sheet piles are used so as uh, the sheet piles they are designed to take the lateral or pressure and uh, they are to be driven in the ground with the special pile driving equipment special pile driving equipment se aapko isko you have to insert in the ground so generally for the large area to be excavated and depth is larger loose soil is there if uh, uh, chances of entry of the ground water uh, is there generally sheet pile are provided so there are two types of sheet piles used timber sheet pile up to depth of 10 meter or steel sheet pile up to the depth of 30 meter so simple sheet pile are to be inserted so there are certain precautions that is to be taken during the timbering so first one is slip of the earth so this always you have to keep check if there is slipping of earth is taking place then testing of struts because these are the two struts which are keeping exactly two sides in secured position so you have to test it sagging or bending of wells whatever wells you are providing it should not sag or it should not bend also you have to check the moment movement of all the members at any time because any movement that can collapse um, your structure which is actually used for supporting the sides and once it is collapsed the sides will also collapse also when uh, we are uh, filling refilling the layers it is to be done in the layer of 200 to 300 mm thickness so uh, and uh, after doing that refilling uh, the uh, temporary work all these straws etc wells you have to remove in a gradual manner safety helmets are to be provided uh, to the workers then ladders are to be provided if the depth is excessive then traffic because always generally the uh, uh, traffic on ongoing traffic is there some by doing some barricading work you have to uh, obstruct the traffic uh, then proper tools are to be used careful supervision is to be done because if collapse of sites will be there it will uh, uh, threaten the life of the laborers working then safety of adjacent structure sometimes it may happen that the adjoining structure if it is uh, not properly secured with the Uh, such barricading or some sheet uh, piling then it may also collapse due to uh, deep excavation then shelter for the workers are to be provided then fencing and lighting etc is to be provided for the safety purpose then spacing and size of the members that is to be selected properly so by uh, by keeping all these precautions in your mind you have to secure a safe timbering work to support the sides of the trenches and that is what it is meant by timbering for trench so thank you very much all the students i hope that uh, whatever topic that i have covered uh, that will be very useful to you and uh, uh, it is very clear in your mind what is the timbering of trench thank you very much